A tragic ATV accident in Greene County claims the life of a 15-year-old boy. Good evening, I'm Casey Getz. Deputies say Braxton Wilhoyt was traveling near his home on Flag Branch Road in Greenville when he lost control and overturned. Wilhoyt was a student at South Green High School. News 5's Kylie Hill was at a vigil tonight for Wilhoyt and learns more about who he was. The South Green High School football field filled with people wearing blue. 15-year-old Braxton Wilhoyt's favorite color. He passed away after a tragic ATV accident Tuesday afternoon. Life is precious. Life is short. Let's hug all these kids every night and tell them how much we love them. Because we don't know. This will be the last time. The community gathered together Wednesday evening to remember Braxton and pray for one another. We're just one big family, and, and that, that'll be good for the kids. Uh, you know, there'll, there'll be some, some pastors here and, and, and some friends and family that, that can, you know, help these guys. Because, again, you know, I'm sure they're searching, and they, and they want people to talk to, and they don't know what to say, and they don't know what to do. Braxton was on the school's football team, and he's described as a kind and loyal person. Very bright kid. Um, very good kid. Uh, we first moved in over there and they were the first kids that we met, Braxton and Brady. Very nice people. Um, taught my sons about baseball, football. He was just so much fun and um, he loved deeply. He liked to have a good time. Um, just an all around great kid. He's the kind of kid, you know, everybody wants to have around. Both sharing some of their favorite memories. We were at their eighth grade banquet taking pictures, and my son thought it would be funny to wear goldfish tux, and so he turns around and Braxton pops him in the butt and does this, and it was really funny. That's just kind of the guy that he was, just a good, funny guy. Yeah, they would go out, toss the football, um, toss the baseball, jump on the trampoline and stuff, so it was, it was neat to see them. Counselors will be at the school from 12 to 4 p.m. Thursday and Friday. Reporting in Greenville, I'm Kylie Hill.